success and victory in life is not a mystery. It's just need to understand. Listen, there are two kinds of strength. We're talking about supernatural strength. There's the human strength and there's the supernatural strength. That's the divine strength. The human strength has its limitation. Yeah, the human strength has its limitation because the human strength has been perverted through sin. The nature of sin has robbed the human strength of its capacity. Hallelujah. When man fall, when God told him, he was in command. He was in command of everything that God created until sin showed up. And when sin showed up, it sat the human strength. Look at some scriptures here. Uh, Psalm 31 verse 10. It says, for my life is spent with grief, all my years with sighing. Why? My strength fails because of my iniquity. My life is spent with grief, my years with what? Sighing. Mm. Mm. Why? My strength faileth. Because of my iniquity. Our inherent iniquity is what is in my bones are consumed. It's what makes the human strength inadequate. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why when, when we become born again, everything begins to change. Yeah, when we become born again, say, I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Who giveth me? <laughs> Who strengthens me? I can do all things through Christ. Before Christ. Yeah. We are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are weak, inadequate, fall short because of the sin nature. The living Bible says, my sin has sapped my strength. Do you have the living Bible? Please. It says, what? my sin what? has sapped my strength. My sin. So the human uh, uh, inherent sin make it inadequate for human strength to uh, to endure. Mm. Hallelujah. The NLT say, "My sin has drained my strength. My sin, misery, what has drained my strength? My sin has drained my strength." Psalm 79, verse 71, verse 9. It says, My strength fail it. I'm trying to say to us by the Spirit of God that the human strength has its limitation. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. No matter how strong you are naturally, you will always meet someone that is stronger than you. Yeah. <laughs> you will always meet situations that, are, that seem to be stronger than you. But when we tap into the strength of God, then we can have an unending victory. Say, cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my what strength fails. My strength, our human strength can fail. But there is a strength that cannot fail. That's what we want to tap into. Hallelujah. In Isaiah chapter number 26 and verse number 4. It said, trust in the Lord. For the Lord Jehovah is... What is everlasting strength in him? He is what? For in the Lord, look at that. For in the Lord, what is everlasting, unfailing strength is in the Lord. Yes. The, the unfailing, enduring, ever strong. Hallelujah. So if we want to outlast our challenges, if we want to, you know, worry our difficulties, we need the supernatural strength of God. Amen. The supernatural strength of Jehovah. And that's what we are going to gain access to this month. Amen. Because God is never weary. Amen. His strength is never abated. Amen. He can give us power Amen. in our weakness. Amen. He can increase our own strength when we are weak. In Isaiah 40 verse 28. Oh, glory to God. He says, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainted not, neither what? 
is weary. He's, he doesn't faint. He doesn't abate his strength. His strength is everlasting. It's an enduring strength. Yes, yes. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint mm. and to them that have no might. Yes. He increases strength. Yes. I see God increasing your strength this, this day. Your emotional strength, financial strength, you know, physical strength, yes. relational strength, yes. strength in every area of our lives. We're going to tell you, I'm going to gain access to unfailing strength, to supernatural strength. Yes. 